is a Rogers Sports presentation. Welcome to OHL Primetime. I'm your host, Mark Heron. Glad you can join us here on Rogers Television, exclusive home of the Ontario Hockey League. And tonight we got a great matchup for you as it's another chapter of the Battle of Peel as the Branson Battalion take on the Mississauga Ice Dogs. Well, if you're a Branson Battalion fan, five is certainly a very good number for you right now. Not only are they five games above 500, they come into here tonight on a five-game winning streak. And last night they scored five goals en route to a 5-2 win over the Windsor Spitfires. Of course, uh, that a big product of goaltender Brad Topping, the rookie, making 36 saves. Chris Rowan getting two goals in that effort. And the Branson Battalion right now are looking good. It seems that they're peaking at the right time as the playoffs approach. Right now they stand fifth in the conference and third in the division, uh, tied with the Owen Sound attack. Conceivably, they could leapfrog the Owen Sound attack tonight. And second place is not out of the question in the Midwest Division. Uh, a side note to the Branson Battalion, goaltender Brian Fidley has not seen a game since the trade on January 10th, that big trade at the deadline. Uh, he's still uh, nursing a groin injury. He will not start tonight. Brad Topping will get the start in net tonight. As for the Mississauga Ice Dogs, a very disappointing season. Looks like they're going to be playing out the string with a lot of inexperienced players. And of course, we spoke with Omar Enifati here a couple of weeks ago, and he said the toughest part of playing in the OHL is learning how to win. A big step in that process might be tonight if the Mississauga Ice Dogs can upset the Branton Battalion. I take it right upstairs right now with all the action with Bill Cole and Sarah Buchan. Okay, thanks very much, Mark. Uh, just uh, 14 seconds underway. Welcome aboard tonight uh, from yours all across the field tonight as we bring in the Ice Dogs and the Brampton Battalion tonight face off just inside the dog zone. They were called on an icing. And Sarah, this is a, a tall order. I speak of the Ice in goal tonight, Bill, we've got a, a couple of guys. Well, uh, one fellow who's uh, had some uh, great success for the uh, Brampton Battalion, uh, the, the rookie uh, Brad Topping. He's 9-6-3. Uh, and three. He's uh, got a 2.85 goals against average, and he's 6-0-1 uh, in his uh, last uh, seven starts for the Ice Dogs. Rob Garrick, 1-9-1, and one, a tougher assignment on a team that's struggling and building for the future. His goals against 4.53. So they set it up there is Garrick and a fatty back. Bateman beats him to the puck. Van losing goes out front to Torres there's a shot and the first goal of the game from Rafi Torres Aaron Van Lusen found him loose in front of the net and it's one nothing Brampton that's uh, Torres doing what he does best he is a natural goal scorer he uh, had uh, a goal and a helper uh, last night he's on a five game point streak now a six game point streak uh, five goals to four helpers for nine points Torres uh, getting the job done for the Brampton Battalion as the uh, the heavy team strikes early. Randley back to try and give some assistance. And there's a big heavy hit in the corner. McClement hit hard by Timmons. Timmons with a chance to clear it. Gives it away to McClement. McClement walks right in. There's a shot. Big stop by Garrick. A lot of times content to just uh, take the wrister and put it on net and hope for deflection. Able to walk off the boards. That's Bateman and he scores. I think Rob Garrick had no idea that he was he was about to see a shot from uh, Bateman. Bateman beat him high in the blocker side from a bad angle. Pat Jarrett was uh, right along with Bateman as well, and uh, they were kind of shoulder to shoulder on that play. It just uh, seemed as though um, Pat wasn't able to get maybe this this move the stick under the same sort of move that Kurt McSwain had on the Ice Dogs chance and. Um, and Bateman able to uh, count that chance. The Dallas uh, draft pick uh, puts the Brampton Battalion up uh, two to nothing with uh, just over nine and a half minutes left in the period. 13th of the season for Bateman. And it couldn't have come up at a worse time for the Ice Dogs now trailing two nothing with nine and a half left in this period. The skate back to the blue line. Klesla goes far side. Rowan controls it for Brampton. Goes to Havel. Lucas Havel makes a nice move in front. There's a shot. Stopped by Garrick. Rebound. They score. Kurt McSwain all by himself at the side of the net. I think I could have put that one in myself. Three nothing Brampton. This is the kind of thing where you where that is the defenseman's if you're going to look to blame someone, if these are the kind of things, these second chances you just as a defenseman cannot allow. Uh, Rob Garrick makes the initial stop. 
but Kirk McSwain is there and nobody moves him out and he gets a chance to get the stick on the puck and with Rob Garrick down and trying to scramble and get that puck it's a uh, open season for Kirk McSwain. Now Brampton with a fairly comfortable lead in the first period. Lucas Havel will pick up one assist. He made a nice uh, move coming off the boards as you can see on the replay and to play it topping. Oh, Navigon. And there for the Ice Dogs. Pax comes out front to Jarrett. Jarrett goes to the far side. And Jarrett can't get the shot away. Tries to come back and feed it in the short side. There's a shot by Jarrett. Stopped by the goaltender. And I believe it was uh, Thompson able to find the loose puck and get it out to the blue line. Fed back. Oval uh, in first place in the Eastern Conference with 57 points. Four points up on St. Mike's. Bounce with a chance. There's a uh, shot from the side of the net. Bounces around in front of the score. Chris Thaler found the loose puck and batted it up over top of Brad Topping, and the Ice Dogs are on the board. Nice work by the Ice Dogs to uh, get that goal, and so just hard work got the job done there. 3.43 to go here in the second period. The crowd loves it. Andrew Davis coming Andrew out Davis the board. does all the work here. He is the guy who gets in there, stays on the puck, bats it on. He sees he doesn't get good one on it, so he goes right back to try and get another shot. Kicks the puck up to the stick, but he's got some support there. A roofer, and the Ice Dogs are on the board. Red Topping made about three stops and uh, did all he could do. So Chris Saylor puts the dogs on the board here late in the second period. Very strong this year. A lot of people think that uh, Red Deer is going to run away with it. Well, they grow those uh, those big, solid defensemen. There's a shot just wide. That was a solid effort from Edie. Just missed the net, comes back out in front. And a fatty with a long shot. Penalty coming up. That's knocked down. And they score, and they are going to count that. And it's tipped down from the air. Referee uh, Scott Hutchinson on it very quickly to point into the net to show that that puck was, in fact, not knocked in with a high stick. Not sure if Onavagon is going to get credit for it. We'll have to wait for the announcement. But with 2.40 left here in the second, the Ice Dogs have cut the lead to one. And just as we were saying, Bill, we're talking about a team uh, that did some spade work on their opening goal. Here we see the goal as the Ice Dogs are crowd again around the crease. I'm not too sure about that not being a high stick, though, by Nathan Onavagon. He knocks that down, and that looks a little bit hot. But according to the referee, Scott Hutchison, that is not a high stick. So now we have a one-goal hockey game with uh, 240 left in the second period. A good job by Nathan on Abagon, and uh, the goals are almost the same for the Ice Dogs. Back to the point again. That goes off Klesla, and the Ice Dogs skated out to center. Nice pass now to Worstead. Worstead in, tees it up, fakes the shot, pass out front, slipped by uh, Thompson. Thompson cleans it off the glass. Kept into the point. There's a shot, side of the net. In hard goes uh, Mike James, and here comes. And that's knocked back in by Chris Thaler. Very quickly back to the point now to Roski. Roski feeds that in. That's tipped in front of Nates. Not sure if it's in or not. Osborne says it is. The referee hasn't decided yet. The uh, red light is on. Light the lamp. We're waiting for the motion <laughs> from uh, Scott Hutchinson. The crowd is already thinking it's a goal. Cue the music anyway. Uh, just 27 seconds into this third period. And if it is a goal, it does turn out to be a goal. It's a fantastic play by uh, Chris Osborne, uh, the, the man uh, on the mission and right in the spot in the catbird seat to make it count. Should it should it count? Hutchinson uh, discussing things with Omar at a fatty. Here we are in the replay here. Chris Thaler gets the shot that gains the zone. And the Ice Dogs with some good pressure. And there's a... Uh, Osborne rolling to get into position. And as the puck comes around, as they're rocking around to try and get a shot on, it's Osborne with the tip. Still waiting for a definitive word uh, from the referee. Stopping after the game tonight. I mean, if you get a you get a good look at something and it changes direction. And you can see the ruling is uh, no goal. No goal after a lengthy discussion with the uh, someone upstairs they took a look they took a look and they decided that no while it was a pretty place they say the puck did not go in rick vibes says it did you're going to get those chances again 
There was a big hit down below as Dalladay was hammered by Lucas Havel. Dalladay still down. Penalty coming up here to Havel to the point near side Klesla. Klesla with a shot through, stopped by Garrick. Another big save. Rowan's shot goes wide. McClement now working along the boards. Comes back to the point near side. Klesla one timer. He scores. Rustis Love Klesla with a one timer through a screen. Beats Rob Garrick, and the lead is now 4 2 in favor of Brampton. This is uh, what we were talking about at the start of the period, what was going to be important in this game, and it's the uh, work of specialty teams, uh, whether the uh, whether you can kill the penalty or take advantage of your power play, and here Brampton on their uh, fifth chance of the night, able to score and uh, make a uh, two-goal lead with 16.39 remaining. That's great puck movement, though. McClement working it around, uh, finally got the shot. As now Rafi Torres along the side, cuts to the middle. He's got ahead of steam as he gains the blue line. Nice move, walks in, shot saved by Garrick. Rafi Torres with a big move at the blue line. Bateman, Van Lusen avoids a big check there from Courtney. He's in over the blue line, has Torres with him. Pass to Torres, and Torres shoots, and I don't know how he didn't put that puck in the net. By Maliko, dogs control. Long cross ice pass to Roski. Roski back in the middle, and a fatty with a shot, he scores! Omar and a fatty beat uh, the goaltender topping high in the glove side. And it's 4-3 now in favor of Brampton with 7-14 remaining. This is a great textbook goal by Omar Edifati. The defender coming in, he's got a heavy, hard shot, and he makes great use of it. You didn't know if the Ice Dogs were going to be able to set this one up. It looked as though that Brampton was going to be able to take away the ability of Mississauga to set up, but they did, and Edifati made a fantastic move, took the pass, stepped into the slot, stepped into one, and it's trouble. You're going to get crowded into the goaltender. As a goaltender, you must hate that if your defender does that to you, knocks uh, the opponent into you. I would think you. so. Push him the other way. <laughs> Eight seconds now left in the penalty. Pass back to the point. There's a shot, and that is uh, blocked in front, I think, by James. And off the post, and in. They score. The Ice Dogs have tied it up. Shot from a bad angle off the post and in. And it's another power play goal a second left on the man advantage and this is a tie game huge break for the ice ducks they certainly got a little bit of help a little bump and grind with a goaltender topping obviously steaming about having somebody working around in his house great shot by john jerram but it looks like he got a little bit of help from topping on that one get a better look at it here because it seemed to dribble and though james did stick the stick in there. I don't wonder if Brad Topping getting the leg across. Wilson feeds it in. Jerem now in a foot race. It's cleared around on the boards. Comes back out to the point to Klesla. Klesla with a shot. Tipped in front. Doesn't get through. There's a shot and a big stop from Garrick as he just robbed McClement. And that's dumped out and down the ice with less than a minute to go. Malefi Torres out there to take the draw. He's got Van Lusen, Bateman, Klesla, and Maliko. Courtney, Roski and a fatty. Thaler takes the draw and wins it into the corner. And there's the buzzer to end regulation in a 4-4 draw. Get up there and carry the puck. He's a great playmaker. Here comes Van Lusen. Van Lusen with a burst of speed. Walks in, gets the shot. Garrick's the stop. And here's Van Lusen with him. And it's knocked off his stick by a Navigon. Comes back to Van Lusen. There's a shot saved by Garrick. Big rebound. And that's taken away now by the Dogs. Dalladay ahead to Jarrett. Three on two here for the Dogs. Jarrett with Dalladay. Dalladay can't find the puck. Goes to an end. Fatty up front. And the tip by Jarrett goes just wide. Shot from the side of the net by Courtney. Doesn't get through. 18 seconds to go. Timmons tries to pinch. And Van Lusen gets away from him. Hands it off now to Torres. Torres in. Gets the pass in front. That's tipped wide by Van Lusen. Played back around now on the near side. And it's out over the blue line into the neutral zone with five seconds to go. Roski takes the pop from Torres, gets it out. Malika will walk in, tee it up. Long shot stopped by Garrick. And the final buzzer sounds to end a very entertaining hockey game and perhaps a fitting 4-4 draw here tonight between the Mississauga Ice Dogs and the Brampton Battalion as the Ice Dogs are on the ice now to celebrate the at least snapping a seven-game losing streak. Anyways, they're winless in eight, but that's it. Well, this is a small victory.
victories for the Mississauga Ice Dogs and redemption as well. I mean, they took a, a quite the beating in the last meeting with this club, December 31st, a 5-2 loss. And this game did not start out the way uh, they were hoping to get it started. I mean, uh, Brampton jumped out to a 3-0 lead. Rafi Torres, uh, Bateman and McSwain, the other goal scorers for Brampton. But then some good work around the net and uh, feeding off success in uh, both instances, uh, two goals a minute apart, uh, just over a minute apart in the second uh, period for Mississauga. Chris Thaler and Nathan Onabagon yeah. scoring. And it's uh, Omar Anafati and Mike James, uh, both power play goals in the third, and those came a minute apart. So good work. And we'll take a break. We will come back and check in with Mark Aaron. You are watching OHL Primetime on Rogers. Uh, that was a heck of a game to call. 4-4 tie, the Mississauga Ice Dogs and the Brampton Battalion, the Battle of Peel. It was a beauty. Let's uh, recheck the three stars on tonight's game. Chris Thaler was the third star, and number two, Rob Garrett coming up with a huge save after huge save, especially in the overtime period, to preserve the 4-4 tie. And Nathan O'Navagon, the number one star, coming over from the Plymouth Whalers and already paying dividends for the Mississauga Ice Dogs. Uh, for the Brampton Battalion fans, uh, your next game here on Rogers Television is Friday February 2nd at 7.30 p.m. They'll be taking on the Ottawa 67s. As for viewers in the Mississauga area, don't forget to tune in on Tuesday, February 15th at 7.30 p.m. as the Mississauga Ice Dogs travel to the Oshawa Generals to take on Oshawa. For all of us here, uh, Bill and uh, Sarah, myself, and everybody here at uh, Rogers, we'd just like to say good night and thank you very much for tuning in.